How's it going guys? My name is Pietro and welcome to another player review and this time we're going to be taking a look at team of the season Ezekiel Garay. Now I have been playing with this second in form for a very long time and I will give him two ratings. One, comparing him to his second in form whether it's a huge upgrade or not and two, just based on his performance in my team as we take a look in the one that he has played in right now. So without further ado, let's jump into his in-game stats. Um, so he has 95 heading accuracy with 97 marking, 88 long pass, 84 short pass, 82 slide tackling, 99 stand tackling, 85 jump in, 92 reactions, 95 strength with 85 aggression, and 98 interceptions. Now I have an asterisk besides the 70 agility just because I want to touch up upon that somewhere in the review and uh, I think this is a good time to talk about it as we take a look at my opponents. The 7 agility made him really good on the ball and uh, made me comfortable when he had possession of the ball in the back. So starting off with his positives, I found his tackling to be flawless and it wasn't just about his tackling. After he made the tackle he was able to hang on, hang on to the ball and uh, gain possession from my team. Some defenders I play with, um, they are very good at making tackles however they just parried it away into the way of a teammate or another attacker and that caught, that leads to problems. Another positive was his, was his positioning due to his uh, 97 marking in his in-game stats as well as his interceptions because it's always there in the right place at the right time and uh, his jumping and heading was really really good as well as he is six foot four and he has 85 jumping which is something you don't usually see on tall defenders um, they usually just stand and head the ball and they use their height to uh, reach it when it's up in the air. His strength was really, really good as well. Um, and his in-game set, it's a 95 and, and it certainly does feel that way in-game. And uh, his passing is also really, really good. Now, I would have liked him to have a little bit of a better short pass. He does have an 84, but sometimes I found when uh, I do pass it, it's kind of weak. However, his long passing when you just hold X down just to pass it from uh, his position in the back to uh, a player that's uh, high up the pitch, it was uh, very, very accurate and driven and uh, it had a lot of power and pace behind it. Now, here's where the controversy starts. I personally didn't have any problems with his pace just because his uh, aggression wasn't too high so he didn't push up and be at a pos position. And um, his marking was really high as well, so he knew where to stand. And uh, some people won't like 60 pace on a defender. However, his positives outweigh the, just this one negative. And this is me being very, very uh, overcritical on this play review. Now we get into the most important question. Is he worth the 10k upgrade over the second inform? I personally would say yes, although you don't really notice most of the, the upgrades besides a slight increase in his pace, which is very hard to notice. However, the, the price difference only being 10K, I would say you might as well go ahead and get the best of the best. And he is an 88 rated player and he is a blue card. So my opinion, I would say why not? However, if you're on a tight budget, I say you should just settle for the second inform. And there you have it. That concludes this review. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed my content. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next play review. Take care.